Good evening, everyone. Thanks for coming out. It's so wonderful to see everyone at this event. It's standing room only. I love it. Um, thanks for coming out to our annual kickoff ceremony. Uh, it's so wonderful to see so many smiling faces as we celebrate the 2022 National Night Out. My name is Jennifer Moore, and I'm the chair of the Suffolk National Night Out Committee. And on behalf of the committee and the city of Suffolk, it's an honor to welcome you to today's festivities. Please take a look at your program. Uh, to review the locations on the back, we have seven great options to choose from that span the entire city. With almost 20 tour stops, we, we don't have much time to waste today, so let's quickly recognize a few special guests in the room. Honorable Mayor Michael D. Duman, Vice Mayor Leori Bennett, Councilman Tim Johnson, Councilman Lou Ward, Lou Ward City Manager uh, Al Moore, uh, Tanya Blair with Western Tidewater Regional Jail, and our constitutional officers, uh, Sheriff E.C. Harris and Narendra Police. Uh, and of course, Congresswoman Elena Loria, representing the Virginia 2nd District. So thank you all for, for being here with us today. And of course, Fire Chief Michael Baraki. So let's kick this off. Let's please stand for our invocation, led by Sergeant Eric Crawley of the Suffolk Police Department. Good evening. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you right now. God, we just want to pause right now and thank you because it's in you that we live, we move, and we have our being. God, as we pause and reflect, we realize that if it had not been for you on our side, we don't know where we would be. God, so we give you the glory and the praise right now. God, as we pause and thank you, we want to thank you for each organizer, each leader, each coordinator. God, we ask that you will give them fresh ideas, God, fresh word, God, a fresh anointing, God, that will continue to lead your people. As we move through this day, God, we ask that you will give us more peace, more joy, more love for one another. Teach us how to love each other as you love us. As we pray, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise for what belongs to you. It is in your name we pray. Amen. Awesome, thank you. And of course, Councilman John Goldberg is here with us as well. And Mayor, what's the name of your, your dog? Holly. Holly, Holly the Golden Retriever is here. Definitely have to give her a shout out. All right, so um, let's go ahead and get started with our opening remarks um, with, by Mr. S uh, Al Moore, our city manager. Mr. Moore. Good afternoon. And welcome to the City of Suffolk 2022 National Night Out op opening ceremonies. Of course, National Night Out started in 1984. I won't, I swear I'll be brief. 1984 in southeastern Pennsylvania. It has grown nationally uh, to be a night in which we uh, continue to build and enhance our relationships with our residents, with our businesses, and with our public safety staff. <clears throat> this is especially important uh, today, as it ever has been, uh, with the growth in violence across the, our nation. And here in Hampton Roads, it's important that we continue to uh, develop our relationships, work together so we can curb this violence. For Suffolk, it's always a special evening. We have five top ten finishes in National Night Out. I'd like to thank the organizers for tonight. Uh, that's from all the communities, our staff, because it is going to be a special evening for us. There's one other person I need to uh, thank, and that's Sheriff Harris, who's always in charge of the weather. <laughs> it's going to start out, according to AccuWeather, it's going to start out as a balmy 98 degrees and get a little chilly towards 88 later on at about 9 o'clock. But again, thank you for being part of this evening, and I look forward to seeing you at the end. Wonderful. Thank you, Al. Um, next, I'll have our Honorable Mayor, uh, Michael D. Duman, please join us. <laughs> Get Holly up here. She'll make more sense than I do. Uh, good, afternoon. good afternoon. And um, let me take that back. It's not a good afternoon. It's a great afternoon. Absolutely great afternoon. Sheriff Harris, pretty good on the weather this year. He might want to dial down the temperature about 8, 10 degrees. 
but they don't need to do list. Um, but I've said it before and I'll say it again. This is absolutely my favorite event in our city every year. And we have quite a few great events in our city every year. What makes it special in my mind is that it involves our entire city, regardless of where you reside within our vast 430 square miles. The message this evening is undisputed and supported by all. Our citizens and our public safety personnel are united and committed to making our community a safer, more caring place to live. I think we can all agree that there can be no quality of life if we do not feel safe in our homes and on our streets. National Night Out gives us the opportunity to promote police community partnerships and a unique ability to interact with our neighbors under the most positive circumstances. It is my understanding that this is the 20th year our city has participated in National Night Out. During that time, our city is placed in the top five in the country, 17 times in our population category, which would be 50,000 to 100,000. In addition, five of those times, we were first place finished, quite a testimonial to what our city has accomplished in our pursuit of a safer community. I want to commend those who preceded us. They had the vision to realize citizen engagement was paramount to addressing crime and making our community safer. Behave. Since its inception, our city has grown and this event has grown along with it. Before we embark on our National Night Out tours, I want to offer special thanks to all the volunteers, community organizers, staff, safety personnel, and most importantly, our citizens, who have made this event the success it has been, and I am confident the overwhelming success it will be this evening. I believe Senator Kay Hutchinson said it best, and I quote, the best way to build a safer community is to know your neighbors and your surroundings. National Night Out triumphs over a culture that isolates us from each other and allows us to rediscover our own communities. Thank you and have fun and be safe tonight. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, and now we'll welcome our special guest, Congresswoman uh, Elaine Loria. Congresswoman? Well, good afternoon. Uh, it's really wonderful to be here, and uh, Sheriff Harris, good job on the weather. Um, I am just so glad uh, to be in Suffolk. Uh, as you might know, I've been representing the 2nd Congressional District for about four years now. Uh, we've had redistricting, and the district has changed, and so I am so fortunate that uh, Suffolk is now a part of the 2nd the District, and it's just great to be here. We had lots of places we could have been, Accomack County, Southampton County, Virginia Beach, Norfolk, uh, but spending the whole evening in Suffolk, um, you know, getting to connect with folks in the community, hear what's important to you, and um, I just want to also um, thank um, the, um, the, the police chief, uh, Chief Chandler, uh, for the work you do, and uh, Chief Barricky for the fire department, and everyone here who's in public safety, because you keep us safe um, day in and day out and make our communities really special. So thank you for having me, and I just look forward to getting to meet folks and spend more time in Suffolk. So thank you. Thank you, Congresswoman. All right, so now let's hear from our public safety partners. Um, Mr. Excuse me, Police Chief Al Chandler. Thank you. Today is a big day. It's a day that together we stand making a clear and direct statement. We stand together and declare that we fully connected together. We are fully connected together to declare that our streets will remain safe and crime free. At the end of the day, that is the final analysis. That's the main point. The main point of our coming together today is to galvanize, to band together and spend some time remembering the fact that together we can make an impact, a real true impact on the criminal activity in our city. We believe that the best tool that we have to fight against crime is creating community connections. Fighting crime together, making our streets safer together, and building stronger relationships together. Togetherness is the key to keeping our neighborhoods peaceful, to taking care of each other. Togetherness 
is the key of doing almost anything. On behalf of the men and women of the Suffolk Police Department, I would like to say that we are so proud to have such great citizens and community partners that allow us the chance to work alongside you and make our, communi our communities a safer place to live, work, and grow. So tonight is a celebration of the hard work and dedication needed to keep togetherness as the focus. We celebrate creating and maintaining community connections. So take a moment, meet some new friends, enjoy some music, proclaim loudly our unwavering commitment to the safety and security of the city of Suffolk. Enjoy the spirit of community that we hold dear in our beautiful city. Let's have some fun. Thank you. Very well said. Thank you, Chief Chandler. Uh, and now I'll ask um, Commonwealth's Attorney, Narendra, please, please join us. Pless. Let, let me do that again. <laughs> Narendra Pless, please join us. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good evening and thank you all for being here and participating in this national night out. Um, for all of the years I've worked here in the city of Suffolk, this has been one of the highlights of working in the Commonwealth Attorney's Office um, is coming to national night out, believe it or not. Um, and so I'm excited that we're able to continue this tradition um, both in our office and then for our city as well. Today is about bridging gaps. As Chief Chandler said, it's about togetherness. It's about making connections between our communities and our law enforcement partners. Um, because at the end of the day, we all want the same thing. We want to live peacefully and, safeful, and safely in our communities. National head, headlines can sometimes make us doubt what actually occurs right outside of our door. And days like today prove that we are in control of what happens outside of our doors. We are all collectively responsible for our communities. We are the gatekeepers of peace and safety in our communities. We are the individuals fighting for our children and our elders to have the ability to enjoy our streets, to enjoy our parks, and to enjoy our public spaces. We are the ones who will hold those accountable who violate our safe spaces. We are Suffolk, and we will do this together, not just today, but every day. So let's go out, let's enjoy ourselves, let's meet our neighbors, and let's keep our streets safe. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Plez. Uh, Sheriff E.C. Harris, please join us. She brought a whole chair section. <laughs> but you brought this wonderful weather. Uh, thank everybody that's here because we're all on the same mission to continue to have this great city of Suffolk. So each one of you play a part in that. It's not just public safety. It's every one of us that live in this city to make this the best city in Hampton Roads, which we are. It's no, it's no getting around that. We're the best city. Um, to my public safety partners, the police department, the fire department, you do an outstanding job uh, protecting the citizens of the city, taking care of people when they're sick and injured. Um, you know, I, I can't tell you how great a job you do. However, there's the Suffolk Sheriff's Office over there at the courthouse. <laughs> and uh, those guys and gals do a great job, too, because we stay focused on our mission and on community service. So this is just another day of the week for us, and we can't wait to get started. So be careful, and God bless you. Thank you. And of course, we've got Fire Chief uh, Mike Baraki. And I think he's got a special friend joining him I at the podium, Sparky. too. Come on up, Sparky. <laughs> oh. 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 My speech is done. Oh, oh we, we got, we, there we go. There we go. 
So, Mayor, we're opening up applications here in about a week. So, uh, you know. so Sparky's with me, but uh, before I start my speech, uh, Battalion 1, Engine 1, Engine 2, Reshi 1, Craig Abraham. Uh, this is the face of Suffolk Fire Reshi right here. Um, they look a little bit different. We're just standing in the back with their T-shirts on and their, um, you know, their, their, their normal day. But when you see them, they're wearing turnout gear and air tanks and cutting you out of cars and fighting fire. But this is really the fire department um, that makes not only me, but Sparky look great. So bless you guys for coming. Thank you. Um, I don't like when they come because I have to do my fitness assessment next week. And when you see these athletes running around, they make me look fat. So uh, thank you guys for coming today. So anyway, mayor, vice mayor, members of council, our citizens and community leaders, I'm Mike Baraki, uh, fire chief, city of Suffolk, and it's my honor to be here tonight with Sparky. National Night Out enhances the relationship between our community, our city leaders, and your public safety servants. And that's what we are, we serve. Our mission is simple tonight and is, quote, to bring back a true sense of community, end quote. That's why we're here for community. Tonight's a great opportunity to bring your fire and rescue department, Sparky and our neighbors together under positive circumstances. Tonight, from Pewsville to Creek's uh, side, um, where are you at? Uh, yeah, Pewsville. I got it. Creekside, of course, downtown to Kings Fork. Um, your fire and rescue department will stand beside community leaders, citizens, children, and parents to show our pride in the community that we serve. So I want to thank Sparky for, Sparky for being here tonight. Uh. <laughs> um, our motto is our family protecting yours. Tonight, Sparky and 74 firefighters, officers, and paramedics working this evening will become one with everyone in the, com in the community and the participants of National Night Out, so we serve to bring back a sense of community. So thank you. Thank you, fellas. Sparky, thank you. Thank you, Chief Baraki. Thanks, Sparky. All right, well, before we get the show on the road, literally, I wanna say thank you to some very important people. First and foremost, the Suffolk National Night Out Committee. These dedicated men and women served on this committee year after year and have perfected this award-winning model so, that you see today. So please stand, committee members. You can stand. You guys are awesome. Let's give these folks a round of applause. We could not do this without you. As well, I'd like, I'd like to thank the uh, media and community relations team. They are the behind the scenes backbone of this event. Every small detail that you see here today was carefully designed and implemented by them. So thank you for your hard work team. And thank you, oh, yes, yes, round of applause. And a couple shout outs to our Suffolk Police Department Explorer Post program. These, uh, this is the future of Suffolk's finest. Folks, can you stand up? Thank you so much. And a shout out to our Suffolk Probation and Parole team. Another year of uh, great volunteerism. We love to see you. Thank you so much. And of course, uh, a thank you to all of our city employees for stepping up in all capacities, being tour coordinators, mascots, photographers, you name it, they've got us covered. Thank you guys so much. All right, so let's go over what you can expect this evening. Remember when, I, remember when I asked you about looking at the back of your program for your tours? Well, it's important to know what toy, tour you want to join because as we walk out these double doors here today, you'll see signage for the tours, tours one through seven. So once you uh, go over to that area of the tour, you'll find your tour coordinator and uh, they'll assist you on where to go to get on your bus. Now your bus is out here in the main cul-de-sac. Uh, the buses are clearly labeled with the tour number so please board those buses quickly and efficiently because we have a very tight schedule to maintain. So, uh, you're, so leave the driving up to us, so jump on the tour buses, or if you want to drive separately, that's okay too. Just follow the motorcade. Let the tour coordinator know that you're following though. So over the next few hours, you'll be guaranteed a great time with great people and good food. So before we hit the road, Sergeant Crawley, please close us out. Can we stand and pray one more time? <clears throat> Let us pray. Father God, we pause one more time, God, and as we leave this place 
and not your presence. We ask that you will be a fence all around us. God, keep us safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. No incidents, no accidents. God, would you be that hedge of protection for our young people, God, for our elderly. God, you just be with us in everything that we do and say. It is in your name we pray. Amen. Amen.